Right, Nifty Thrifty Girl here featuring a vintage Kenmore model 1941. Um, hard to believe, but this machine is almost 40 years old. Um, it is a convertible, which means that you can use it as either the flatbed as you see it, or you push this button here in the front and the deck slips off and you have a free arm. Free arm, of course, is access all the way around, and it's nice for pants legs, shirt sleeves, and other small projects. Does have a little paint wear right here on the tip of the arm. Of course, that is your bobbin access as well, and your feed dog drop is right here. And the deck slips back on just as easily as it came off. And if you want to access the bobbin or the feed dog drop without removing the whole mechanism there's a button here and you can remove just the panel and that will give you bobbin access as well as feed dog drop access and that snaps back on and this machine does not use cams this machine has built-in stitches two four six eight ten twelve built-in stitches utilitarian and decorative both um, stretch and regular both super easy to use it's all mechanical there's no computerized or electronic parts and if you keep up with this machine servicing easy at home, it will never have to see a shop. It's all metal inside. Um, your stitch um, selector is the center here. Your stitch width is the outside. And your stitch length is the outside here. Reverse here. And this little lever changes from regular stitch, which is red, to stretch stitch, which is white. Your bobbin winder is on the top. Your power switch is on the end. Everything is double needle capable. All these patterns can be made with a double needle with the width set correctly. A very cool thing. It comes with the original purchase receipt. This machine was purchased brand new in October of 1976. The head was $239 and the cabinet that came with it was $140. So the whole outfit was $397. So back in 1976, that was a big, big, big chunk of money. October 23rd, 1976. Bought new at Sears. Pretty cool. With this machine comes original instruction manual, a brand new pack of needles, a box that actually is cracked on the top but it's still usable, the original Kenmore box of attachments, and in that I have put a bobbin holder. It holds a dozen bobbins but that comes out. And then you get all of these little feet and attachments. And there's everything in here from, oh, uh, let me see. And plus the attachments have their own little card kit. But in there is a gathering foot, a overcast foot, a narrow hemmer, four other size hemmers, an edge stitcher, an applique foot, a zipper foot, a binder, quilting guide, cutting guide, fabric guide, all kinds of stuff in there, plus the original feet that came with the machine, which is a satin stitch foot, a straight stitch foot, a buttonhole foot. Everything that originally came with the machine is also included. It's outlined in your manual right here. Standard zigzag satin straight buttonhole and zipper. All those feet are included as well, and the straight stitch needle plate is included as well as a complete buttonholer. There's your stretch stitch plate, or your, I'm sorry, straight stitch, straight stitch plate. Some Q needles, which are for stretch fabrics, and there's your buttonhole attachments with templates, and the little um, plate that replaces this one. All this is explained, of course, in your manual. As all of our machines always are, this machine has been serviced, and it is ready to go delivered ready to work. There we go. It's a nice smooth machine. Nice zigzag. And we'll go over to triple point zigzag. Sings right along. Uh, there's 
blind stitch. And we'll go over to a stretch, which is just as easy as flipping the little lever here over. And then you're in the white, which is stretch, and you always want it to be at the longest and the widest available to do your stretch. Stretch stitch. And this, just like all other Kenmore's, has a very nice lift. Um, five quarters, six quarters will go underneath there to make your project easy to get in and out. And we'll do some denim. This is a size 16 needle. It uses up to an 18. Two, three, four, five. Five layers of denim. These machines are very nice with denim. Pull in that just a little bit. This is very thick denim too. Not often are you going to sew something that thick, but no matter what, you don't want to go full speed anyway because you are going to break your needle. Very nice stitch on that. And that once again is the Kenmore 1941 convertible. You can find my email right under the video if you have any questions. These are for sale on eBay and they go pretty quickly, so if you're lucky enough to go over to eBay and find it. If you like it, you better buy it because it normally takes a day to sell one and it's gone. So thank you very much.